The pancreas has two vital functions. Number one is to make the insulin necessary for glucose management. But the other aspect is that it harbors very powerful enzymes that are designed to break down the food that you eat, allowing appropriate digestion in the small bowel. In pancreatitis, there's inappropriate or early activation of these enzymes, which then catalyzes an inflammatory cascade leading to pancreatitis. For many patients, it is very sharp, unforgettable abdominal pain and lasts anywhere from 24 to 72 hours. Go ahead and take a deep breath. There are those patients who may have mild attacks and go on to have recurrent attacks and those who then evolve into chronic pancreatitis and those can be some of the most challenging patients to deal with because many of those patients can feel hopeless. They may have been told that there aren't many treatment strategies. Fortunately, we have a dedicated benign pancreas program. We've put together a group of people who are passionate and dedicated to this condition. I see our center as kind of a champion for pancreatitis. We have some very exciting potential prospects for treating pancreatitis that may even reverse the scarring that subsequently ensues in these attacks, which then leads to more pain. We provide education and counseling and management strategy that involves nutritionists, we also are fortunate to have a fantastic pain center to try to figure out the most effective way of treating these patients. Several different studies have defined specific genes that make one more vulnerable to developing pancreatitis. And there's also its association with alcohol, but only a minority of patients who actually drink alcohol heavily ever develop pancreatitis, which means that it's not just alcohol itself. What's very exciting is that there may be potential treatments on the horizon led by some of our colleagues here at Stanford by which we may be able to mitigate the pain and also prevent those patients who may be destined for a more severe course to prevent that trajectory. The bargain I make with my patients is that I'm going to be committed and dedicated to taking care of them, but we're also a, a research oriented institution and my role is to encourage them to participate in a lot of our clinical studies. We're very committed to helping everyone who suffers from this condition get better. We really try to take each individual and individualize a treatment strategy that is tailored to them. I believe that we can make a difference in the patients we care for.